Hello, welcome to this tutorial on Hoopla. Hoopla is accessible on either a computer, smartphone, or supported TV device such as Apple TV, Android TV, Fire TV, Chromecast, and Roku. Using an HDMI cable allows you to stream movies to your TV. Some features of Hoopla include instant access of over 950,000 items in six formats, including ebooks, audiobooks, music, movies, comics, and TV shows. Due to instant access, every item available has no holds list or wait list. Items are backlisted, so you may not typically see the hottest items available, but items that may have been popular out a few months ago. It's important to keep in mind that you're only allowed four checkouts a month, starting at the beginning of each month, which varies based upon checkout date. For example, if I check something out on the 12th of a month, it will be returned on the 12th of the next month. All right, let's get started. I'll be walking through the use of Hoopla on a smartphone. First, you will wanna type in an email address, choose an eight character password, choose your library, which will be the Collier Vote Birch Library, and enter your library card number. You will only need to do this during registration, but it is not needed every time you enter the app. Your card must be up to date and not expired. Once you enter the app, you will see this welcome screen. Then begin on the My Hoopla tab. This is where you will find suggested titles, your borrowed titles after downloading, favorited items, and recently returned items. The Home, Borrowed, and Favorited tabs are across the top left, as well as the settings in the upper right. In the settings, you will have the option to choose your app into Kids Mode, which is perfect for only viewing available content for kids, such as picture books, kids comics, audiobooks, and movies. If this setting is not toggled on, you will see content available for all ages. Under Recommendations settings, you can highlight your particular interest, which will help when wanting to find specific content to your interest. For example, if you know you prefer to read and view more fiction or gaming content than anything else, those will be recommended to you more often if you highlight those options. Under Notification Settings, you can decide whether you want to receive alerts from Hoopla via email or push notifications, which pop up on your phone's home screen. Under Linking a Streaming Device is where you can enter the code in order to link your Hoopla account to a TV device, such as viewing a movie from Hoopla on a Roku. Going back to the home screen, let's go through how to check out items you're interested in. On this first screen, Hoopla breaks titles into lists such as we see here, recommended for you, popular audiobooks, popular ebooks, movies, music, and comics. At the bottom of the screen, you also have the option to search based on format. Each tab also provides lists based on recommended, featured titles, or currently popular content. If there are holidays during that month, you may also find special lists based upon the monthly celebrations. In video, you can browse all the movies and TV shows available. Each episode for TV shows counts as one checkout for that month. The borrowing time for movies and television episodes is three days. In music, you can view an extensive music catalog where you can download the entire album. The browsing time for music albums is one week. In books, you can browse a catalog of audiobooks and ebooks as well as comic titles. The browsing time for these items is three weeks. Some features to note include, when borrowing an ebook, in the top right corner, it will allow you to view the table of contents, change the brightness, font, font size, theme, which is the color of the background, the line spacing, margin size, text alignment, and toggle whether you prefer a two column display or how you would like to scroll on the page. When borrowing audiobooks, it will allow you to go back a few seconds or speed up and slow down the voice for better listening. If you are looking for a specific title, and which format it may be in, you can tap the search tab to search for that specific title, artist, author, series, or touch a trending search to look for the most popular searches. If you need any help navigating the app, when you click settings, there is a question mark in the upper right corner you can tap, which provides more extensive FAQ answers and a feedback form. When you are on the website, you can click the help button at the bottom left of the screen. That is the basics of Hoopla. If you have any questions, you're welcome to call the library at 901-457-2601 or speak with someone at the reference desk. 
Hopefully you didn't miss the secret code, but if you did, the secret code is instant. Enjoy the scavenger hunt.